Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Monday of the fourth week of Easter. Let us include in our Holy Mass the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Passion Family, Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Takdol. For the birthday thanksgiving of Anne Bondok Razon. For the special intentions of Baby Enzo Manalastas, Lamberto Panlaki, Abigail Rain and Augusto Mamangun, Mark Homer Munoz, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Phil Janet Castro and family, Eleanor Ventura, Jeremy Robes, Arman and Mariet Nang, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sarah Gokwinko. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Consortio M. Chancoco Jr., Techi Manarang, Nancy Ibanez, Victor Nakpil, Coset Aguas, Josdado San Pedro, May Cabrero, Cabrera, Pepito Nikdao Sr., Albert Sonko, Engineer Florita de la Cruz, Emilia S. Galang, Angelito Miguel, Rafael Montes, Roberto Yabut Jr., Jennifer Soriano, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Angelo C. Quizon, Edel Umlas, Eller Vitu, Gloria Panlilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Ignacia Ko Salangsang, Margarita Pangan, Felipe Olalia, Dolores Passion Olalia, Peng Masbang, Rita Febes Ramos Cervantes, Third Death Anniversary, Rita Manslet Cervantes, Francisco Ramos Jr., Redentor Bong Ramos, Francisco and Lucila Ramos, Risa Ramos Lagman, Remedios P. Samson, Primo de Rit, Alfonso D. Gaza, Salvina Enriquez, Carlos Pinpin, Jose and Soledad Go, Maria Jesusa Reyes, Lilibet Canlas, Arnel Wanta, Jose Vergara, Corazon Antonio, Raimundo Patrocinia, Victor Heather Salvador, Angel C. Abulencia, Janelle Nico Cruz, Democrito Aison, Martin Angeles, Remedio Saldana Kalilung, Rita Kalilung Hurtado, Rico S. Kalilung, Christopher Glenn Binuya Kizon, Enemino and Asuncion Umlas, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hipolito, and all poor souls in purgatory. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Elmer Tumama. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea, raise your voices, leave your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, Monday, is the first day of this fifth month of the year, May. And alam natin yung buwan ng Mayo ay ating inaalay sa ating mahal na inang si Maria na May Flower. And this day also, May 1, is the feast of Saint Joseph, the worker. Saint Joseph lived up to his call. Hindi po siya nagpapayaman. But as a man and as a father to the Holy Family, yung kanyang ginagawa, ulo sabihin carpentero, pero mayroong isang Greek term dyan na the word carpenter sa Greek was tekton. Na tekton, hindi tiktok. Tekton means skilled worker, artist. No? So, nawa si San Jose ay maging modelo sana ng pagiging what? Honesty, faithfulness, truthfulness, perhaps simplicity, kahit po, ano, hindi po siya parang showy, but he did his role as the foster father no? to our Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who lay down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently to it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. 
This happened three times. And then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. This sixth brother also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa, and summons, summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your households will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Who was I to be able to who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running water, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you things upon the harp, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Please stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they, talk, they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kapatid, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Magandang gabi po, Among. Sa ating simbahang katolika, ginugunita ngayon 
ang Kapistahan Memorial ni San Jose, patron po ng mga manggagawa Labor Day. Allow me to share itong uh, pagnilay-nilay sa isang aklat na sana po ito ay parabang uh, panggising sa atin. Dahil sa ating Ibanghelyo ni San Mateo, nagsasabi yung mga tao doon sa sinagoga, Hindi ba ito ang anak ng karpentero? Hindi ba si Maria ang kanyang ina? At sina Santiago, Jose, Simon at Judas ang kanyang mga kapatid na lalaki? At dito nakatira ang kanyang mga kapatid na babae, hindi ba? Saan natutunan ang lahat na ito? Kapatid, hindi ba minsan may magsasabi, hindi ba anak siya ng labandera? Madalas nating marinig ang ganitong klase na mga salita mula sa mga pag-uusap ng mga marites na kapitbahay o kaya mga teleserye. Madalas na hindi maganda ang tono ng ganitong mga pag-uusap at may kasamang panghahamak para sa mga nagsasalitang ordinaryong trabaho o mahabang uri na katayuan ng mga ganon gawain at hindi kapanipaniwala na ang isang anak ng isang hamak na manggagawa ay makagawa ng kagilagilalas na bagay. Halos ganito ang narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito sa kapistahan ni San Jose, ang patron ng mga manggagawa. Hindi na paniwalaan ng mga taong nakarinig kay Jesus ang kanilang naranasan. Isang animoy kabalintunaan para sa kala sapagkat akala nila, kilala nila kung saan galing si Jesus. Akala nila lubos na, si, na siyang uh, kilala. Alam nila ang angkan na pinanggalingan ni Jesus. Mali sila. Binulag sila ng kanilang kawalan ng paniniwala at lumampas ang pagkamamaling biyaya na matanggap sana nila. Madalas ganyan din tayo. Dala ng ating mga personal na kaalaman at pagkiling ayaw na nating maniniwala sa bagong simula at pagsibol na kakayahan ng ating kapwa. Inanyahan tayo sa araw na ito na buksan ang ating puso at makita ang biyayang dala ng bawat isa. Anak man sila ng karpentero, domestic helper, o kahit ano pang uri ng manggagawa, mayroon silang natatangin biyayang inaalay para sa lahat. So kapatid, sana po, lana po tayong mga nasa simbahan, active, sana yung ating mga mata, mga bibig, or whatever, uh, bukas tayo sa pagtanaw na nilamang natin tingnan yung panlabas at ilagay yung mga ibang tao na kakikilala natin na atin silang nilagay sa isang kahon. Alimbawa, naala ko po meron kong isang kaibigang lay minister sa isang parokya doon sa city proper ng Angeles. I will not mention the Paris. Merong isang parokya dyan na may magandang function hall. At itong uh, lay minister, dahil by profession, he was an electrical engineering grad graduate underboard. Siya po ang inatasa ng in-charge sa function hall na po sa mga lightings, tama ba yun? Lightings? Mga, ano, tapos mga sound system at saka aspeto sa function hall. Meron siyang naibahagi na, well, that, that, that's his right to say it. Pero parang sa akin bang, parang hindi maganda. Why? Ganito. One time, yung mga uh, personnel ng SM Telebastagan, doon po ginawa yung kailang Christmas party. Tapos, na-observe itong lay minister na in charge sa function hall na parabang yung mga sabi natin, sales ladies ng mga taga-SM, sabi na niya, mga high hat, 
Ano bang ano? Tapos sabi niya, may nasabi siya, mabuti sana kung yung sahod ay mataas. Para bang ang pagtanaw natin sa ating kapwa, nakabasi ba sa sahod? Or sabihin, para bang nasabi din niya, di ba sales lady lang sila, maarte. Parang ganun. Or kahapon, doon sa hometown ng tatay ko, uh, pinaayos ko yung bahay ng tatay ko, tapos itong municipal engineer, kamag-anak pa ng tatay ko, sobrang yabang kahapon. To the point, I'll just be honest, na yung misa ko kahapon sa 10 o'clock, 5 o'clock, at saka 6.30, even at 8, parang iba yung pakiram na ko kahapon. Parang kung may, meron akong ano eh, lagnat. Dahil pag, kasi kilala ko yung municipal engineer, ahead sa akin ng one year na nag-aral ko ng high school doon sa hometown namin. Pero ito talaga siya, magaling na, na engineer. Dahil he commented na bakit daw nagpagawa ng project si Among Elmer. Na kompleto ako ng dokumento. Meron kong permit from the Human Settlement Regional Office in Tacloban, etc., etc. To make the story short, yung kapitbahay ng old house ng tatay ko, ay kaklasiko sa elementary at high school. Ngayon, she is a teacher and her husband is a seaman. Yun pala, itong kapitbahay ng tatay ko ngayon, na kapitbahay namin, <laughs> alam so, si anong trabaho ng kailang tatay doon, baka sabihin, si Among, ay poor din, ay poor. The English term pala ng ay poor, nakita ko sa Book of Psalms is, ano pala, ah, uh, hmm. Haughty heart and proud looks. Meaning, you look at others proudly. Yun pala ang English correct, correct term ng mata pobre. Biblically, meaning proud looks and haughty heart. So, uh, ito palang kapitbahay ng tatay ko ngayon, siya pala ang nagsumbong sa municipal engineer na Si Among Elmer, nagpapaayos ng bahay ng kanyang tatay, baka walang permit. Pero, alam niyo po, kaninang madaling araw doon sa hometown ng tatay, kung may nangyari, doon sa pinaka-sentro sa bayan, malapit sa, sa coastal, may mga bahay na yung mga nakatira mga mayaman, Burgos family, Bertolfo family, at isang kamag-anak ng nanay ko, na yung kanyang tatay at nanay ko magkapatid, tapos itong kamag ano, kamag-anak, pamangkin ng nanay ko, may hardware. At itong pamangkin ng nanay ko, ang asawang babae, ang lawak ng mga lupa nila. At tumig, ah, sorry ha, baka nadala ko sa emotion. Itong asawa ng, ano yun? First degree cousin ko ngayon, hininga na ako, kikinikila lang, magpinsan kami kasi mayaman na siya. Why? Dikit sila ni congressman. Lahat na project for the past nine, ano, six years sa isang congressman galing sa kanilang hardware. Malaki ang patong. Oh, sorry, sorry. Confidential, confidential yan. So to make the story short, ano nangyari ka ng madaling araw, four o'clock? Doon sa isang ano ba yun? Drugstore na butika ni Artila. Ito si Mana Artela. Mayaman din yun. Doon nagsimula, ano nangyari kayo ng madaling araw? May sunog. Bahay ni So Anso na mayaman. Isang ano, mayaman. Tak, tak, tak. Isang negosyante. Mabuti hindi tumawid sa isa pang kalye. Dahil the old house ng mga magulang ng nanay ko ay nandoon. Pero, ano ha, o, o kayong magalit. Pinagdasal ko na, sana naisali yung bahay ng lula ko. Why? Bininta. 2019, bago ko nagpunta ito sa Angeles, yung isang kamag-anak ko na assessor, yung parang nakipag-usap sa akin, Elmer, kayong magkakapatid, you sign a document dahil yung property ng ating lula i-dispose. 
Sinong nakabili? Yung may-ari ng hardware na pamangki ng, ng mother ko. At yung pagbili, barat. Bakit barat? 4 million, pero bisaya. Parang bumbay na. Bakit? Nagreklamo yung mga apo. Dahil ang pagbabayad, hindi whole, ano, 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 whole, partial, four gives, five gives. Na to the point, meron kong isang kapatid na mayabang rin. Sorry ha. <laughs> Dahil itong kapatid, gano, gano daw, she is a nurse galing states. And last year daw, umuwi sa lady, itong may-ari ng hardware, sinisingil yung share ng mother ko. Dahil hindi pa sila nakatanggap ko. Mabuti nakatanggap sila. Ako, wala akong natanggap. <laughs> anyway, that is sabihin, among the pito materialistic. So, ito yung sabi ko na si San Jose, carpentero but skilled carpenter. So si San Jose, modelo ng pagiging simple. So alam niyo po kanina, mga 9 o'clock or 8.30, when I open my tablet, that's why kanina, if you have observed, hindi ko umupo doon sa likod, doon ako sa may ano, dahil nagsubaybay pa ko sa ano nangyari, doon sa sunog. <laughs> so sabi ko, this is a wake-up call. Dahil sa side ng mother ko, may mga kamag-anak kong mayabang. Dahil mga matatalino na sa abroad na isang kaklasiko anak ng district engineer but their parents wala na po. Yung kanyang mother teacher. Magaling na teacher. Kanyang post sa Facebook kanina sabi I am now homeless. Sabi ko, <laughs> mag-comment sila ko in our hometown homeless kayo Dahil nasunog yung bahay nyo. Pero may bahay kayo sa Tacloban, may bahay kayo sa Cebu City, may condominium kayo sa Cebu City. Mayaman pa rin kayo. That's why kanina, mga 8.30 ng isang kababayan ko nag-inform sa akin, parang sabihin, si Among parang antipatiko. Dahil sabi ko, why should I be sympathetic? Mga mayaman sila eh. And modesty aside, yung anak ng listik ijinod sa kaisang judge na magkakapatid, kaklasiko sa elementary na mga babae, napakataray. Dahil what? Mga mayaman sila, mga gwapa sila, mga magaganda sila. At alam niyo, 1970s, 9.45 in the morning, di ba ano yan? Break time, recess. Ang kanilang maid, may dalang sandwich with matching, ano ba yan? A chocolate ba yan? Chocolate, yung, yung juice. Kami at that time, yung aming baon, 10 centavos, 1971. Ang banana queue, 5 centavos. Ang ice candy, 5 centavos. Wala kaming juice. Ano lang aming juice? Faucet juice. Doon kami sa gripo, uminom. So, kapatid, sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit personalistic. But sana, tulad sa sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Isus, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. So dakal pong salamat sa pag-anyayan ni Father, ni Among Deo sa inyong parokya at saka dito sa Angeles dahil parang pari ako. Dahil pag nasa hometown ako ng nanay ko o tatay ko sa Leyte, Parang ang feeling ko, retiree na ako. <laughs> Dahil walang nag invite ng misa. Pero sabi ko, El Elmer, since you are now 59 years old, what you are now, kung saan pa ito sa stage presentation, mga drama, Elmer, yung buhay mo ngayon, rehearsal na yan. So that pagdating mo ng 65-70, pag mag-retire ka na, handa ka na. Dahil you will be saying a song na, Lonely, I am Mr. Lonely. <laughs> anyway, I'm not lonely. God is with, with us and with me. 
So, hindi natin habain, may misa pa ko sa Lapieta, alas, alas, alas 7 kay Vincia. So, dakal pong salamat. Magsitayo. Ito. Let us pray that we may listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd who guides us in the right path and protect us from dangers of any kind. For every petition, our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Ulitin po natin. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church ever become the house of the Heavenly Father with doors wide open for those looking for God and from which the faithful go out to others to reach the friends of humanity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Like Peter, may the leaders of the church welcome the Gentiles and Samaritans of our time, outsiders who are led by the Spirit to community of believers. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we be not swayed by the voice of strangers, the preachers whose teachings are not in conformity with the magisterium of the church and even attack it. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our faith find expression in concrete, everyday actions meant to help our neighbors in body and spirit by feeding, visiting, comforting, and instructing them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Good Shepherd lead the souls of the departed into the eternal rest of God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer to the Lord our personal intentions. Grant, Almighty Father, that we may listen to the voice of your Son, who directs us to the path that leads to your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Stand. Pray, brethren, that this sacrifice we offer may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord.
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you, for this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set us a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, of your glory, O Sana, in the highest, O Sana, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana, in the highest, O Sana, in the highest, in the highest, O Sana, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him, with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Salangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharihan mo, sundin ang loob mo. Ito sa lupa, Para ng salangit, bigyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw at patawarin mo kami sa amin. Mga sala para na pagpapatawad namin sa nakakasala sa amin at wag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso. At iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil to run peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. Lamb of, Lamb God, of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen.